Wisconsin can be so cold. The scales of justice can erode. If we accept lies big and bold. We forget We live on Avery Road Hello everybody, this is Eric Jose on Making a Murderer on YouTube. I cover the Stephen Avery and Brendan Dassey cases, but also as time passes I've been covering other cases such as The Staircase or OJ and many wrongful convictions of youth. Uh, I go over the documents, the photos, the videos, anything case related. So stay tuned because I have many more videos just like the one you're about to see. Hello everybody, how you doing? Back with you here today. Wanted to talk about a few things that I saw on Twitter today that I really, really felt like just went right along with what I was talking about in my New Year's Eve or my New Year's video that I did about the whole idea of complexity and stuff. So I wanted to go ahead and, and just share a couple things I saw on Twitter today, talk about a little bit about them and, and everything here tonight. So uh, it's, you know, it's it's just like I said, you know, I was thinking about the whole new year. It's because it's the new year and thinking about how moving forward with, you know, all this, you know, all these new su supporters that have, you know, come in ever since October 19th and the release of MAM2 and, and that sort of stuff. And. So I've been, you know, thinking about, you know, moving forward, what it's, what it's going to look like, how, what shape it's going to take really and all that. And I'll tell you what, you know, groups like the Wrecking Crew are coming up with great ideas. Those of you who don't know, we have just created um, a very, a new community platform basically on Discord. Uh, it's, it's absolutely fabulous. It allows us to break up the chat rooms into separate subjects. Um, we're able to, you know, we're able to categorize things and everything. It's a really, really cool platform. I did a video about it last night if you want to go check it out. Um, where it basically, it's like a tutorial of kind of the rough, you know, beginnings of how you use it and, and how you navigate it and that sort of stuff. So those of you who haven't gone and check it out, uh, please do so. I'll leave a link for it down below. Um, it's, you know, but it's really interesting. Um and, and, and it's, it's the wrecking crew and, and groups of people out there uh, that have watched this, that have gotten fired up, that, that just don't like what they see, that are calling it, continuing to call attention to it. And, and that is the absolutely beautiful thing here. And, 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 and it's something that KZ sees. And I think KZ, Kathleen Zellner, it, uh, is trying to encourage and trying to, you know, um, you know, encourage and, and, and perpetuate, uh, when we look at this tweet here. So I'm gonna go ahead and move into that tweet and then we'll come on back. So this is KZ's tweet from today. Um, you know, and I just felt it was going along very much with the theme of my video uh, last night on new year's Eve, which I'll leave a link for below. Stephen Avery's fight for freedom is never going to end. Every new DNA test, every new witness, new case just fuels the effort. Uh, we'll create the biggest court record in America if necessary to free him just warming up for 2019 Hashtag happy new year hashtag winners never quit hashtag work with KZ So, you know what she's basically saying is 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 that you know There's she'll she'll keep you know compiling a bigger and bigger amount of evidence that proves that the prosecution's narrative is complete crap and she'll continue to build it until it's a mountain and you know that falls on them basically <laughs> so it's it's you know it's interesting so i'll go ahead and show you guys my response and when i saw kz's tweet this was my response to it uh you know that it's a marathon not a sprint i think a lot of people kind of it would help maybe them to look at it that way uh, you get real eager when you when you get interested in this case in these cases and and in this topic of criminal justice really you get real eager and and you know you want to move mountains and, and when you're first starting out and it's understandable but you got to take a more um, you know a paced approach it's it's really a necessary thing because the courts don't work 
in a very quick manner. And so it's better to have more of a marathon style approach as opposed to a sprint type of approach. So I think it's very interesting. But um, this image that you see that I put up in this in this tweet, that's an image that she tweeted before. That's something that she used in the past. And I think it's very profound, as I said, goes along with the whole theme for last night's New Year's video with the whole idea of complexity and how a lot of us have chosen complexity uh, by choosing to get involved in, in these cases and take an interest in the criminal justice issues uh, at hand. So um, just wanted to show you guys that. You guys can go over and check that out um, on her Twitter feed if you want. Uh, and, uh, you know, and then I wanted to talk a little bit more about Drizzen and Knight Rider. So that's what Kathleen Zellner was saying today. It's, you know, I think right in, right in line with, you know, kind of what I was saying last night. Um, it's, she's going to do the work. She's going to continue to do whatever she has to do. Uh, and yeah, the state is, you know, making it hard. They don't want to work with her. So there's, you know, it, it she's just going to keep on compiling it she's going to keep on testing she's going to keep her investigation ongoing and and she like she said she'll continue to compile that record and continue until it's a mountain uh you know so that's that 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 lets you know exactly where you know kz's head is she's very much focused on the task and and she has every intention of continuing to build that mountain um she's she'll 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 go with her current mountain that she's currently pushing through the appeals court and if for some reason that somehow isn't enough she'll come up with another mountain you know that's what i that's basically what i feel is going to happen here um until eventually there's so much stuff on the record that it just can't be ignored i think that's basically what she's getting at so uh now to move on to what i was saying is next i want to talk a little bit about drizzen and nye rider uh steven drizzen was was tweeting a little bit today um he tweeted uh something kind of funny about you know, something kind of a little bit funny about the director of the wrongful convictions of uh, wrongful convictions center or the center for wrongful convictions uh, there at, at Northwestern University. And uh, so they he, he was saying that the, the old director stepped down literally at the stroke of midnight. And and now him and Laura Nyrider will be the co-directors for the uh, center for wrongful convictions there. So that's uh, very, you know, uh, you know, very happy for them, but also it's, it's, it's a little more complexity that they're taking on in addition to all the work that they're currently doing. So they deserve a big hand for that. Absolutely. Uh, because I feel Steven Drizzen and Nora Nyrider are doing absolutely great work, uh, trying to help out the, the, the unfortunate, you know, and, and vulnerable youth in our justice system. It's very very noble so i admire it about professors drizzen and nye rider so we're going to go ahead and show you that tweet right now in other new year's news uh literally at the stroke of midnight on you know december 31st or january 1st however you want to look at it basically on the moment of new year's the actual second of new year's the former director of Northwestern's Center for Wrongful Convictions uh, stepped down after five years at the helm. Um, literally at, that's funny. I mean, it's kind of funny that literally at that moment. But anyways, so my re my resolution, he says, my resolution for 2019 is that Laura Nyrider and I as co-directors do as good a job as Karen Daniel did. It will be hard. We have big shoes to fill. Huge shoes. Thank you, Karen. So there's going to be a little change over at the Center for Wrongful Convictions there at Northwestern, where now Steve Drizzen and Laura and I Ryder are going to be the co-directors for the Center of Wrongful Convictions. And, and I honestly can't think of two better people to be in charge of it, personally. I uh, think the world of Professor Drizzen, um, I you know think he's, he, he does a lot of great work. He, he does, I mean, he's, and, he's, and he's trying to fight for the little guy. The guy that can't help, the guy that can't fight for himself so well. Those guys, um, always admire that. So, and that's what Stephen and Laura are doing, and and it's and it's admirable. So that's you know another piece of of news here in the new year. The last thing I want to talk about is something else, somewhat involving Professor Drizzen here, uh, that was 
made by my friend Tracy Keogh. Um, Tracy Keogh is just an outstanding supporter of Stephen and Brennan, um, but even more, I would say even more so for Brennan. She runs his support groups on Facebook. She runs a website um, for both. And, and so she's, she's just doing a lot, a lot of work in support of Stephen and Brennan. And so the thing I'm going to show you is, uh, a tweet that she made today, tweeting a year in review for Brendan that she had done on the website, her website. And, um, I, I put it into, I put it in, um, Eric Jose wrecking crew in discord today, um, in the main chat for people to check out if they wanted, but, um, I'll also leave links for it here. But it's just basically kind of explaining all of the various happenings that went down with Brendan over the course of 2018. So if you guys are interested, you can check that out. But I'll show you the tweets here and show you uh, Professor Drizzen's response to it. And then we'll come on back. And one other little thing here. Well, not so little. Uh, when it comes to Brendan, you all know that I think it's huge. But anyway, one other thing here to bring up is that Tracy Keogh, who runs the, Bren the, the Brendan Dassey website, the website basically... Um, it's a very cool website. She writes a lot of articles for it, and, and Tracy's brilliant, Abs absolutely brilliant. For those of you who aren't following her on Twitter, start. Um, she's just brilliant. So what she did was she did a year in review for Brendan. Um, and as you see right here, that's what the tweet on top is about, is that she wrote the year in review for Brendan, and it's on the website. I'll give you guys a link to that right now. So. What, what we have here at the bottom is, is that Stephen Drizzen is replying to uh, Tracy Keogh and saying, brilliant, for the first time in five years, I chose not to write a year in review on the subject of false confessions. This fills the void. Thanks, Tracy. This was hard to relive, but hope abounds, and the fight to free Brendan will continue. May 2019 be the year he is set free. So you can see everybody in Brendan's camp is charged up, and ready for the new year. Nobody's losing hope in Brennan's camp. That's that's the big takeaway I want to push right here. Is certainly that nobody in Brennan's camp is losing hope. And you can see it there. But uh, I will obviously will, will be posting the link. So that you guys can check out Tracy Keogh's uh, year in review for Brendan. Uh, but just wanted to bring that up for everybody. Because uh, very interesting development for the end of the year. Leading into the new year. Hello there, everybody. Maybe you thought you weren't going to get to see me tonight. Nope, here I am. So, um, but that's what's going on for this year. I mean, that's the way that the the legal counsel for Stephen and Brennan are kicking it off. Um, you know, I mean, I you know, I wanted to point out the obviously the year in review thing. I think that's you know an interesting thing for a lot of people to be able to go and look at what happened this year with Brendan. You know, and 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 to, and for people to evaluate that all together, looking at it and thinking, you know, wow, what happened here. This kid was granted his habeas relief twice, and it was suddenly ripped away. Uh, you know, and the you know a lot of too many people have a problem with that confession for it to stand. So, yeah, you know that's where it is. So, and obviously, you know Zellner is moving forward here. She's <laughs> she's ready to compile a mountain. She's I mean she's gonna she's gonna drop a mountain on on these guys of of all the evidence she's gonna eventually collect. Um, but yeah, at the moment she has to stick with her current appeal, but we already know she has stuff that she can get tested after, you know, if for some reason this appeal doesn't end up being enough, if it is enough, if it's more like a marathon, as I'm trying to tell you or suggest to you, then we already know that if this appeal doesn't quite do it, she's already got stuff to get right back into court and get right back onto this process again until she compiles that record and compiles that record and compiles that record until it just becomes a mountain and, and, and it just collapses onto those that are trying to hold it up and prevent it from collapsing onto them, right? So that's where it's at, really. So uh, Zellner's as fierce as ever. Uh, Stephen Drizzen and Laura Nyrider, Professor Drizzen and Nyrider, are stepping up and and taking the reins there at the Center for Wrongful Convictions there at Northwestern, which is awesome. I can't think of any two people that would be better qualified to do that. Um, there are professors there. They know that 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 center. It, you know, the Wrongful Convictions of Youth Center is something that Steve and Drizzen has been very, very strongly involved with. 
So, I mean, that's that's big news for the new year. So, a lot, lot of things changing, growing, uh, you know. So, thought this all just went along with my theme from last night. So, I just wanted to go ahead and do a little video here to just kind of bring that point home a little bit more. And, obviously, everybody remember, keep her moving. Thank you all to the Wrecking Crew. Thank you to all my subscribers. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe. And we're going to take you out with a little bit of Stacy Seabrook here. My name's Stacy Seabrook, and I approve Eric Jose on Making a Murderer to be able to use my songs on his channel. Thank you. But they use a badge for an illusion of justice Oh, they say you can trust us Oh, but they use the flag for an illusion of justice On how what they did Convict an innocent man twice With a 16 year old kid Yes we can turn away Pretending all the pieces fit Oh but if we turn away We let them get away with it
we forget We live on Avery Road We live on Avery Road Should be Shouldn't sit by idly, accepting everything that we are.